While the sky was falling for millions of Americans during the Great Recession, a mystery existed as to what was going on behind the corner office walls and boardroom doors of the banks that ultimately collapsed. That story unfolding on a Charleston stage as a Tony Award winning The Lehman Trilogy. Let's welcome two of its stars, R.W. Smith and Michael Smallwood. Great to have you both with us. Great to be here. Pleasure. This is where the story ends. This is not where the story begins. Right. So maybe you could take us through where the story starts. Well, it starts with uh, uh, an immigrant man from Germany, uh, from uh, Bavaria, who comes over named Henry Lehman. And then three years later, his brother Emmanuel shows up, and then his younger brother Meyer shows up, and <laughs> they start a fabric store yep. in Montgomery, Alabama, yep. selling fabrics and suits. Okay, if anybody's familiar with the Lehman Bank, right? No one, I don't think, realizes it started with a clothing store. No, exactly. In the South. Yeah, yeah. And so they eventually they build this company, and then through trials and tribulations, they have to help the city of Montgomery, and through that process, figure out how to start buying and reselling. And then they get into cotton, and cotton is huge, but they keep seeing New York in the distance. And so it's this American dream of building a company that starts in Montgomery, Alabama, goes to New York, and then becomes one of the biggest banks in the world. And, and yeah. how many years ago was this? About 160, 160 years ago. 160 years ago. Um, and the, the play sort of kind of covers all of that ground. You know, we follow in the course of the play, the Lehmans from the three immigrant brothers starting the clothing store through the last Lehman that sits on the bank board. Um, and then after that, basically the play ends because the Lehmans are no longer there at right. Lehman Brothers. Yeah. Um, and in that time, it is a whirlwind journey of not just this family history, but also kind of the history of American finance. Yes, yeah, exactly. And and the, the rise and the fall. So there's this meteoric rise mm -hmm. and this calamitous fall of this company that was really started in earnest. Mm -hmm. You know, there was that, that American dream. Yeah. But I think what's also important to note is the fact that this is quite the feat for you as two of the three actors yeah. who are going to be performing how many characters? Uh, I'm, I'm personally playing almost 30. Wow. Um, how and do you do that, by the way? You know, it is, uh, people have been asking me this, and, and it is not easy. <laughs> um, the I big thing imagine. for me is making sure that each of those characters is distinct physically or vocally. It really helps yeah. with an audience's recall. One thing about the way the play is structured is that you know not only are you becoming all these different characters, but a lot of them are callbacks. A lot of them you know reappear later, um, and then of course I have to s keep going back to my central character who's narrating the story to you. So being able to to make that transformation instantly so that I can talk to one character this way mm -hmm. and then turn and be a completely different character. You know, it, it, it is, like I said, a, a process of finding, you know, one vocal tick, one physical movement, one mannerism yeah. that is instantaneously recognizable to an audience. That sounds incredibly challenging. Mm -hmm. Has this been one of the more challenging projects that you've worked on? Yes, for sure. And, and we knew that going into <laughs> yes. it. We knew what this piece was. Yeah. It is a three-act play with two intermissions. I always tell people, this is like you're binge watching your favorite show and you're going to watch three episodes tonight and you get a break, yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, and it, but, but each... Each act has a beginning, middle, and end, and we started back in July with yeah. working on it because we knew each act had to be so well crafted, and it is not just a vocal performance, it's a physical performance, it's a choreography yeah. within it uh, that we're really proud of, and literally six months of work to get this on God. stage, the longest pure theater's ever done. This is our 21st season. Yeah. Oh, We've done is. a lot of work. I figured yeah. out this is, yeah. I think, my 51st show with Pure. It's your 51st. It's my 25th? Yeah. 26th. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, congratulations mm -hmm. on that. Well, yeah. you, do fan, you do fantastic work on those stages, okay. but I think this story in particular, while I think we like to forget those days, mm -hmm. this was such a learning experience, mm -hmm. a, an adventure of information that mm -hmm. is getting uncovered, and not just for you as actors, but certainly for the audience as well. Oh, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You, you see this play, you sort of interact with it. I, I had the opportunity to see it before we actually got to work on it, and I learned a ton. Like, there was yeah. a bunch of things in it that I just had no idea about, you know, how 
finance and economics sort of evolved in the country, about the history of the Lehman Brothers as a family, about the history of America in a yeah, lot of ways. Yeah. You know, there, there are things, we were talking a little bit about the Panama Canal. Like, yes. you don't think of the Panama Canal being something that someone had the idea for and then charged money to use. Which was credited to the Lehman yeah, family. Yeah, yeah. and I so, learned a lot about that. that so, I never knew that before. But also, I feel like the history is like the icing on the cake, mm -hmm. and still at the core of it, it is a family drama, mm -hmm. yeah. and it's generations of family, and the importance of family, and how as they slough off tradition, it takes them away from their core. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I mentioned before, it reminds me of Death of a Salesman. Mm -hmm. It is about yeah. that American dream, but how when you get away from what your beliefs are, you suddenly don't, you lose what was important. Right, exactly, and at the end sounds like it would be very sad because ultimately it was the demise of this mm. company that withstood the mm. test of time, so we thought. Mm. We thought it could last another 160 years, right. but unfortunately, greed got the better of so many people in those days too, yeah. Yeah. it continues to, but yeah. to such a, a horrible, horrible fall mm -hmm, at those sure. times. But I, I can't wait to come and see this. The Lehman Trilogy, everybody, now through February 10th, mm -hmm. it's at 7 p.m. Uh, 7 p.m. and matinee shows as well. So we're gonna put the information up on the screen. Absolutely. So great to have you both with us. Thank, Thank you. you. We're back after this. <laughs>